Hi everyone, it's Sher, Cheryl, I'm not going to say Cheryl M because that gets on my nerves, I'm sorry, but, oh, are you feeling the way I'm feeling? It's really bad. <laughs> and I just heard, today was a bad day, I had a fight with my, um, pharmacy it's pouring down rain i said can you please deliver my medications oh we can't deliver them i said well i really don't want to go out in the rain i have health problems and i'm over the i'm going to be 65 and can you you know can you please get them all together i go there they got one and it's not ready and it was three hours later anyway to make a long story short because i have a habit of making it really long I, uh, I, I, I got so furious, I went home in the rain, sat in my car, and I called corporate because I think that's, oh, I said, can I come in and wait? This is what really set me off. And they said, no, you, you can't come in here. Mind you, I'm sitting in the front of the store. I went around the block and sat in front of the store for a couple seconds. There's people my age, younger, going in and out shopping. I thought, oh, but I'm not allowed to come in and shop a little and wait for my prescription. That was it. I knew that was a bunch of baloney, so I called corporate, and who knows what will happen. But they're going to, supposedly a higher up's going to call me, God knows when. Speaking of that, well, I'll take care of that tomorrow. Uh, anyway, so I, maybe that's why they didn't call me because I came home after I went back a second time and I finally got it two hours later and uh, I have to go back tomorrow to get my patches, which I need. I have to have a patch on or I won't sleep at night. It keeps the pain in my bones away and things like that. And uh, it's not really great, but it does temper it down some. So I have to go back and get that tomorrow. So that was the, you know, my day. I didn't even want to go out in this weather, but I don't know. I was just having like a like screwy day. So um, I did a lot of crafting yesterday, um, but I've been feeling very fatigued. So then I do a little and then I lay down. Well, the first thing I want to get into is coming home from like, again, you know, a strange day. I got a note and a little card in the mail, and I'm, I can't, I'm not allowed to show the envelope. Well, I'll show you the back of it. It was like a little card. And I saw who it was from, and I had an inkling. Oh, no, she didn't. She did, but I can't tell you her name. And she sent me this adorable little card, and I just, this is before I got my prescription, when I came back to wait for it. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm just so tired today. I plopped on the couch and I said, no, she did it. And um, I can only read you a little part of the note because of privacy, but she just said, hi, Cheryl, I hope this helps you. Uh, you, I'm blessed to see you. I'm blessed to see your joy. That is a gift to me. You owe me nothing. Keep crafting. I'll keep watching. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Use the money for whatever you want. And she sent me some money. And I can't tell you how much because I don't think that's appropriate. But it's it's quite a bit of money. Um, and I am so shocked because she had said something to me i don't want to say who and uh, in, in private and i said no 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 let me make you a wreath i can't do that and, and uh she doesn't listen she just did it anyway i'll tell you there are some beautiful people in this world i'm sorry but something is glaring in my eye i think it's the light i moved the light on the floor and um I don't know what to say. I can't say her name, but I, I don't know how to thank you, but I'll find a way. I promise you that. I just, maybe, I don't know. I can always pay it forward, but um, 
what a time for that. That really was special coming today because I've been so uh, down in the dumps and depressed. It's like, like you guys, I know you're feeling the same way. It's crazy. Oh, I went up to one man. I went and did he act me. And there's certain times they let they like seniors to come in. Hold on one second. I'm sorry, I had to move that light. It was like glaring right in my face and blinding me. Um, so anyway, I, when I got home and went and received a card, the card that I received, it just took me away. I, I, I cried really bad one time on here. And I said, I am never doing that again because I looked like, like a real, <sighs> I'm an ugly crier. And, uh, so I said, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing okay. And I mean that. I know it's a depressing time. So try to do something to keep your mind busy. That's what I'm doing. And if not, I go lay down. I do. I just go in my bedroom and shut the blinds and just lay down and read a book or look at YouTube of something new and crafting. Because we have to stay busy or we'll go crazy. Um, so there's that. So that's why I'm on besides to talk to you about this beautiful card I got, which is uh, mind boggling. I, I, I can't even, I have to cut it off because then I'm going to get emotional. All right. So what I want to do, and I'm sitting in my chair because I am redoing the biggest basket that Brian gave me, Brian and his daughter. Melissa and I did the beautiful Indian basket that I love so much I can't part with it the other ones I'm giving away but I'm taking the largest basket and I painted it that buttercup yellow and I'm going to make it for Missy and I can't show it because I want to wait till it's done to surprise her she watches the videos but what I wanted to say tell you is that I'm going to make everybody loves those uh, those um, bags for um, the uh, little trash bag holders so they're not your cabinets aren't messy or in my case I had a basket that was really messy and filled with the little bags and I would grab a handful and take the dog out oh, that's another thing I can't talk about the dog um, so I decided to use the doggy bag and say what the heck I'll switch it I put the doggy bag by the door when I take Charlie out and, oh, and it's April 6th. He's coming home, not June. I don't know where that came from. Oh, yes, I do. And, uh, <laughs> yes, I do. And so, someone said, you know, a lot of people were saying they love the bags. And I want to show you how easy it is because I can't do anything at my table. Plus, I made the pillow cover uh, based on the fold over where you can stick the cover in and then take it off and wash it. The only problem is what I bought at Walmart was the round seat cover. But I thought, what the heck? I, I'm not going to do it round. I'm going to do it square. And I'm looking at it right now. And of course it looks ridiculous, but I, I really like it. And I'm going to have to buy a square pillow and I think it, it'll be fine. But I didn't want to do it on camera because I wasn't sure of myself. So I am now. Well, somewhat. So what I want to show you is how am I going to do this? I have to. Okay. So here's my patches. <laughs> okay. This is going to be the pillow. I already pre-cut the material. And I love this paisley material. I already pre-cut this. And to the length that I wanted it. So you have to cut it the width this way. So it would be this would be the pillow. I, I have to sit down and show you this. Hold on. Hi everyone. I just had to move everything around. I moved that huge basket onto the floor. Because I'm like, I have to have space to show you this. <clears throat> okay. So I'm at my crummy table. <laughs> It's a mess right now, but I've been, I haven't stopped crafting long enough to clean it. So I want you to, okay, let me put this down. Okay, we are on. All right, these are my patches, okay? But it's a pillow. So say this is your pillow. 
Okay, well make sure you got, like, if this was a regular pillow, about this, maybe an inch and a half or less, an inch or an inch and a half on, on the sides. And then you've got, you've, I, I cut the length of this the way uh, I already, and I'm gonna show you how you measure it. You wanna go three quarters of the way down towards the pillow and then go back and it has to be three quarters of the way up the opposite direction. I'm trying to get as close as I can. Again, so I'm gonna show you again, but I'm gonna do it inside out. So your material is gonna be inside out. So here's your pillow, okay? And you got your, about an inch or so on each side. And this has to be three quarters of the way up and then three quarters of the way up the opposite direction, okay? Now, <clears throat> I've watched like 50 tutorials, so I found one that was easy enough. And I will find out the name of that one, but at this time I don't know because I watched so many, I watched like 10. So for the heck of it, I think I'm just gonna stick a pin here into the box to try to keep it level. I feel like you're not seeing this right. Let me set it back. Okay. Hope it doesn't fall. Okay. So, what you do is, if you sew, you're going to sew each side down. This side first, and then the other side. But Cheryl does not know how to sew, so I'm going to glue it. I'm going to glue this side first, and then I'm gonna pull the box out. All right, so we're gonna glue this first and try to keep it even. But this is inside out, so you're not gonna see the, um, the uneven parts of it. Okay, and then just keep gluing it. And even on my big pillow, I'll show you when I'm done. It doesn't look great because it's, like I said, it's. It's um, a round pillow and I, I learned on a tutorial how to do a square one. I couldn't find one on a round pillow. So you go ahead and make sure this, is, this dries. Okay, hold on one second, we'll let it dry. Okay, so then now the one end is dry. So we're gonna pull the pillow, which is my box. This is the pillow out. We're gonna turn it around and we're gonna do the same thing to this side. We're gonna, if you sew, you can sew it, but I don't sew and I'm telling you the glue holds up fine. And if it ever comes apart, I do little sections at a time. I just get my glue gun out and fix it. I have so many pillows and I don't have any problems at all. Okay, so we're gonna try to keep the glue line straight though. That's the one thing you wanna do. All right, so these, these are the sides of the pillow. All right, yeah, you can tell how straight I am, right? Now, what she did on all the tutorials I saw, especially to, uh, this one lady, she pinned each, each side and then sewed each side. Okay, so here we have it. Okay, I gotta make sure. Oh yeah, this has to be glued too. The little flap, I hope that I'm doing this right. That has to be glued down too, I believe. See, that's why I didn't want to do it. Uh-oh, I shouldn't have done that part. I'm just gonna wipe that glue off. Ouch. Not too smart. I think that's it. I think I did that right. Because I'm going off my memory. Which you know how you guys know how my memory is, right? All right, we're gonna let that dry and I'll be right back. Okay, I believe it's dry enough. So you got both sides sewn or glued, however you want to do it. I'm not a sewer. I wish I were and I wish I could learn. I don't have a sewing machine. So each side, and then you got your flap right here. So what you're gonna do now, I'm gonna show you up here, is we're gonna turn it right side is it what it's inside out right now so we're going to turn it right side in so this is our 
pillow cover. And since it's so little, I wish I, I'm gonna have to make a baby pillow for this. <laughs> We're just gonna take your time. And she used scissors to get into the little edges of the pillowcase. She took like little scissors into the corners. In fact, I think she turned the corners in, but I don't think that's necessary, really. You could just take your hand gently, and if it comes unglued, the one thing good about that, you just re-glue it, and in her case, she can re-sew it. Mind you, I watched about six tutorials on this thing. All right, let me get my scissors or something, a pen or something to get in here, this one side. You know, I got a pair of scissors somewhere. All right, I'm gonna take the scissors and kind of push that little edge out without cutting it. If, if Like I said, if it comes apart, just re-glue it or re-sew it, however, which way you wanna go. And voila! Let me pull you up. After you turn it inside out, you got your little pillow cover. Okay, now you have your fold so that, now that we gotta put our pillow in, this is our pillow. Don't want this to fall. Hold on one second. I'm gonna put a little more light on it. That terrible lighting in here. I know that doesn't help much, but okay. So we have our pillow. And don't forget to do it inside out because it'll make the edges much nicer. All right, so we're gonna put our pillow in to the pillowcase. Take this off. Now, this is our pillow. Oh wait, so let's maybe that's the, the harder way. I'm trying to think of a way because this is the longer edge. See, if you have a pillow, it's easier to work with. Sorry about that. Hold on, I'm going to get it in here. Sorry, that was a son of a gun to get that fake pillow into the pillow, but I want to show you. Here's your pillow. I had to bend the box. Now, if it's a pillow, you just stuff it in there, but I had to bend the box to get it in there. Here's our pillow. Here's the front. Look at the edges. They're beautiful. I think I'm gonna make a little, I'm gonna think I'm gonna make a little fake stuff pillow. You've seen me do them with some old material, and I'm gonna stuff it in here and give it to my little Charlie. So there's your pillow. And if you want to, if you want to wash it, you just take it out. Take the. I'm not doing it with this box, but take it out, and there you go. The next thing we're going to do, because I never do more than one craft, I don't think I have ever, is um, I'm going to show you really fast how to make that little. Donna gave me this pretty material. Isn't it beautiful? Because everybody keeps asking me saying they love those little bags. I'm gonna show you how I make them. Now this is, a, this is the square material and I'm not gonna cut it. I'm not gonna do anything because I wanted a nice big bag like the doggy bag I made for Charlie's bags. Well, I, I did make it for the closet, but I switched it, made it for Charlie because I'm like, I've been switching, what's the big deal? You get what I'm saying, right? Okay, so give me one break. I gotta drink some water and I'll be right back. Okay, doesn't it feel weird without Charlie? I'm missing that dog so much, but he's coming back June 6th. It's like it's, like it's gonna be a big birthday present for me. That's my brother's birthday, Bobby. Happy birthday, Bob, if you're watching, which you never do, but happy birthday. Okay, so you have your material and I folded it in half long ways like the length of the bag i'm going to put it down this is so easy so we're going to glue it the side shut don't this is already folded so you don't need to do anything with that and we're just going to let me back you up here we're just going to glue it right down the edge make like a nice hem and my advice to you, if you have a glue gun, do a little bit at a time and let it dry a little bit at a time, okay? It just makes it easier. 
Okay, so where you see it's glued, try to keep it in a straight line, like you're making a hem, like you're sewing, which I know nothing about sewing. I don't know anything about sewing. I've been using a lot of poor grammar on here, and I have to stop that. I know better, and I don't know why I do that but I have to stop it. So lucky for me, luckily for me, I have a straight line here. It's like a, some sort of pleat that was already there. Okay, so we're just gonna, All right. Thank you so much, Donna. You don't know. I have one piece of the plaid material, not, not the plaid, it's like a checked. And I'm making myself something with that. I love it so much. I don't know if I cut myself or what there. Okay. So you have your side, the whole side is glued. It's inside out, okay? Now this is going to be, it doesn't matter which side you choose. This will be the bottom where the bags come out. All right, so we are going to go halfway and leave about an inch and a half of a space where the bags are gonna pull out. You don't want it too big or they'll fall out. So we'll start gluing. Try to keep the glue straight, like I said. And let them, we'll take a look and see. I'm gonna put something in here so I don't go too far. If you go too far and you're using glue, don't worry about it because you can always pull the glue apart. You can always take the scissors and just cut it. So I'm gonna leave a space about to here, here to here, and we're gonna glue the rest. Try to keep it straight. Oh, I meant to tell you, I told Deborah, we talk text now. I have to, we don't, haven't called each other, but she's called me, but I have to call her. I've just been too in a very down mood. And I'm, but we are gonna talk at some point. And we but we are texting and I said I think I'm gonna go live Deborah all right so you have if I do I'll let you guys know when I get the guts so you have a little slit it's about an inch or a little maybe an inch and a quarter and if you want it bigger you can just pull it apart it while the glue is wet okay now we are going to Turn it right side in, or however you say that. It reminds me of a story when I was a little girl, when my mother was alive. I'll have to tell you that someday. Okay, shake it out. All right, so this will be, okay, I'm gonna take my scissors and go in there and open up the pleats. You know, I don't, this idea I got to do these, which I'm glad, is I was so tired of people walking in my apartment door and I have all these, I save all my trash bags and I was throwing them in the, tra in the basket. And it just looks so like messy, you know? I'm a messy person anyway, but that's besides the point. All right, let's go in and get the other edge. I've been eating crap because I'm, ugh, I'm just, I don't know. Are you guys doing that? I'm, I'm eating junk I shouldn't be eating, especially with my health problems. See how I pushed it through? I did better with that one than this one, than this side. So we're gonna, let's take the try, I'm gonna try, there we go. I think I got it through. Yeah, okay, so it's not perfect, but all right. Now we have our, our trash or a bag, uh, I'm gonna call it a bag holder. A little, um, what do you call it, store bag holder, which I use a lot of for the dog and some under the sink just to give people food to take home or whatever. So here we have it. I wish I had a bigger camera, I mean a regular camera. Okay, now, so the bottom, this is the bottom and you got a little gap. Now this is what I've decided to do. I've got my little box of doodads from Deborah. I'm gonna take one of my little hearts. In fact, I might use two of my little hearts, my little plastic hearts. Okay, and I'm gonna glue right where the whole, the whole slot is. I'm gonna glue this right on there so that I know where to pull the bag. 
This is some, an idea that my grandson gave me, my little Juju. I call him Juju. His name is Julian, but I nicknamed him that. My daughter swears she did, but I know it was me. So see how I put a heart this way? I know where to pull the bag out. I'm gonna do it on the other side too, but I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be back. Okay, now on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put a, glue a little heart there so that you know where to put the, where to pull the trash bag out. Put a little glue. If you sew, you can sew it on there. If you can sew, God bless you, I wish I could. I'm just gonna hold that down. Now, the next thing is, this is the fun part. You can decorate it with buttons, or you can use twine, this pretty light color twine, you know, to put on the top so that it doesn't, you know, just to give it a nice little finish look. You can put some ribbon on it. Um, I'm gonna look for a really pr pretty ribbon or something. Now, I also have this, this nautical rope, which will kind of go cute. And you know what I do? I pull the pieces apart and I get three pieces instead of one if I run out of twine. Um, I think I'm gonna fold this in. I'm gonna do it off camera though. I'm gonna fold this in to give it a finished look and glue it, make like a little, kind of like a little hem to make it more clean, cleaner looking. And I'll be right back. Just wanted to come on and show you quickly because I don't want to waste too much more time on here. I pinned it and I folded it down and I'm going to kind of like kind of turn it like down some and glue so I can get a straighter edge. So I'll be back. Okay, I sewed it all down. I mean, yes, yeah, sewed it. I glued it all down. See how much I want to sew. So I'm going to take all the pins out. I, I had these pearl pins that... A lovely lady years ago, I used to watch her on YouTube, and she always used pearl pins, and I and, and it makes sense because they're so much easier to pull out. So I always keep my little box of pearl pins and pretend I'm a sewer, <laughs> which I'm not. Anyway, so you see how we got a nice, nice hem here, nice straight edge hem. Now, what we're gonna do? We got the bottom done. We got the hole here where the heart is, so I know that's where the bags are gonna come out. We got this open, is I'm going to choose something to put around the edge because we wanna make a little handle. And I think I'm going to use some of this nautical rope, and I'm gonna pull it apart and get two pieces. You can decorate it if you want, but I'm not gonna do it for the sake of time on here. And we'll make two handles from this nautical rope. See how it pulls apart? And you have three nice pe uh, pieces. Well, I only need two just to put get little hangers up. Cut it. And we're going to put our little handles on here. We'll do this one first. We're going to glue them. Of course, we're going to glue them. I should have made a knot here. I'm going to make a quick little knot. Don't you guys, aren't you guys sick of the news, by the way? It's like if I hear one more thing about coronavirus, I'm going to go nuts. All right, let me look at my, I think I'm going to put, I like to put a button or something on top of my, oh, let's see, on top of my hold, uh, little holders, because it kind of gives it a little reinforcement and it looks pretty too. So let me glue these on to save time, I'll be back. Okay, boy, this was sure a long video. I am sorry. Ooh, I thought I could knock it out, but I should have known better. So our little bag for our trash bags is complete. I put a little bit of, on one side of some twine and you know I have to use my buttons to give it a little more reinforcement. We got our handles. And we have our little hearts at the bottom to show where you pull your bags out. And there she is. Okay, and since we're running late, I gotta hurry. 
And yes, it's, I'm happy it's done and it is a gift for somebody that said, I'm not gonna say who, but it's somebody that said something to me about wanting one. Okay, this is our pillow. And the next time I see you, it's a box in here, you know that. This is our pillow. This is the back where you can put your pillow in. I'm gonna make a tiny little pillow for my baby. So it's very simple. If you would like for me to do it again, and I will do it for you, you just let me know. Okay, uh, lastly, the huge basket that I made for Melissa, I've been working on it for two days and it's a pretty buttercup color. Um, I want to do the handles a different color. And I'm looking at, I got these two beautiful colors from, and they're like, they have like a glass, glass paint finish deco art. So we're going to do that off. I have to decide what I'm going to do. I already been working on that, but I'm going to show you the pillow. But remember my pillows I bought from Walmart were round. Could I have done around very easily, but I wanted to do a folding pillow. So I have a square pillow. I may ex switch it up and make around them because I have enough material, but I just wanted to t test drive and see if I could do it on camera. So I'll show it to you, but it, I know it looks stupid. Let me, let me do it this way. Look at my Charlie. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, I miss him so much. That's when I, he was at my house. I'm sorry, there I am distracted. Okay, so this is the pillow, but you see uh, uh, that I made that there's two pillows in here, but the pillows inside are round. But see how it has the cover where you can, I even pinned it, it's a little too big. I think I did, yeah. I pinned it down. But it, I'm going to make, I have a square pillow, so I am going to, but I'll tell you what, it's really comfortable to sit in, in my $5 chair. And I may make a back cover here with ties to tie it on. So anyway, we got to go over here. That's the name of my channel. You, this is what I would like for you to do, please. Oh, look at the cute little flowers, just like the ones I just put on the, there's my baby. So anyway, thank you for watching everyone. I'm sorry that this was so long, but I thoroughly enjoyed this video and I hope that you did too. So you can do it. You can make a pretty little bag. Let me show you something. Look how cute that looks. Doesn't that look better? That's Charlie's little doggy bag. I think if you can see it. Make sure. Look. And you pull your bag out. It looks a lot better than a whole bunch of bags in a basket. So don't be afraid to try these things. They're easy. And I, I really like making things that I need. Not that I just want to do for the heck of it. You know, I like making things I really need. Like, look at my mirror I made. Three dollars. Two tiles. These I had. Someone sent me. I'm not sure which girl. Deborah or Raha. And a dollar mirror. And these are all my crosses that I'm ready to give away. Thank you for watching. God bless. I'm sorry this took forever. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try to make a pillow or make a... Ba uh, a bag for your trash bags. Have a good one. I love you guys. Stay strong. Stay happy if you can. Stay busy. I know how you feel. We're in this together and maybe I'll come on live tomorrow. Maybe. Take care.